Hello there, thank you for joining us for the Natural Lifestyle Show. I'm Billy. I'm Angel. And we got Baby. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about CSAs, which are Community Supported Agriculture. And I guess maybe longing for the springtime got me thinking about it. <laughs> oh, and I thought it was a government group. <laughs> no, it's not a government group okay. at all. No. <laughs> it's supporting your local farmers. Hey, that's great. Yeah. I mean, because um, these days, you know, the food industry is becoming like big business and it, it's doubtful sometimes if they have people's best interests in mind. So it's, it's a good thing to support your local farmers who do do the farming because they love doing it because mm -hmm. they want to supply good food to the community and maybe even because it's been in their family and it, you know it might be like really they might have a lot of loyalty to it because the fact that it was in their family well that you know they, um, they I mean they really love what they're doing and they know that what they're doing is going to make a difference in someone's life yeah so that's a great kind of job to have yeah, it is um, so basically CSAs are um, when you pay the farmer either like seasonally like if you're just doing it for one season or whatever or for the whole year and so you pay him ahead of time and then as his harvest comes in mm -hmm. you get a share divided among the other people who you know sign Inve up investment yeah so you know if his farm does really really good that year or hers or you know him a and, family him and her <laughs> and them if they do really good that year then you're you know you might get a lot if they do you know really not good then you might not get a lot but um you know the point is is that you're sticking with them and you're eating mm -hmm. local food fresh food you might get to try new things you may have yeah. a, a relationship with the farmer so which is good yeah i might even be able to like go visit the farm yeah it's always good to know where your food's coming from it if is you can if any opportunity you can find out you know what's going on your plate you need to find out yeah definitely and you know a neat thing right. with dealing with the local farmers too is that you know if they don't have the money to put forth to get um, certification if you know them and you can go to their farm and everything mm -hmm. and you know they're not using pesticides and things like that and that's not what you're interested in which who is interested in eating pesticides I'm not but um, you know you? It's, it's really good just to have mm -hmm. that relationship because you know what they're doing that's right and um, so it's neat. Then some of the things that you can get from CSAs are fruits, vegetables. Um, a lot of them probably have like egg, cheese. Um, some probably have honey. Greens. Yeah. Well, that's the vegetables. Yeah. Flowers. And some of them have products like soap and jelly that they make. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so, I mean, it's a variety, you know, depending on how you eat or whatever, you have a big variety there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could be a big money saver for some people. Yeah, it could be. I mean, really, it could be. I'd be interested in getting, you know, just the fruits and vegetables and maybe some honey. Because, mm -hmm. like I said before, I do eat honey. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because if it's something that I'm not sure about or whatever, you know, you can juice it. That's Always right. juice. <laughs> and um, so if you're looking for a CSA in your area, um, localharvest.org. You just put in where you're at, and it gives you all the ones in your area that they, you know, they might miss one here or there, but they give you a lot of options in your area. It's a quick and easy way to find it, even if they may miss one or two. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, because a lot of farmers, they have their own little community, so they, somebody can fill you in. Yeah, I mean, going to the farmer's market and talking to them there, mm -hmm. that's a good way to know firsthand, you know, about CSAs in your area. And like um, like you said, you know, word of mouth. You could just ask around about That's it. That's right. But also there's some um, other ways, links I've found out. And they're like um, on a government website, so it's a really long link. So I'll just have that in the blog post. All right, sounds good. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is for America, I think, these links. But, like, if you're in another country, just do a, a, a search. A search engine. Yeah, your favorite search engine. Just put CSA you know, and then your location, and it should come up some CSAs. And so we hope that you explore this option so that you can eat more locally and support your farmers because it's really, really important to do that these days. Yeah, and a lot, if you notice, a lot of grocery stores are now uh, promoting uh, local farming. Well, that's like true. Like at Whole Foods, they do it. Yeah, they'll have, 
stuff from the local mm -hmm. farmers, which is good. That's really good. That's really good. Because, you know, not only is it good for um, your community and, you know, but the sooner you pick something and get it to your plate, the fresher and more nutrients it's going to have. Correct. So that's really healthy. That's right. Did you want to say something? <laughs> you said something. I heard you. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty thing to say. Yes, it was. <laughs> Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our newsletter. And we got a new thumbs Facebook up. group. You have a new Facebook group called Living the Natural Life. That's it. And so join us there. The link's below. And there's a lot of people talking there. Yeah, we'd love to have you join us. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.